Hi everyone, I'm Sam and welcome back to my classroom. Today we're going to learn how to use programming to use the sensors of EB3. First off, we need a brick, a touch sensor, a wire to connect the sensor to the brick, and finally a USB cord to connect the brick to the computer, which is key if we want to download it. First off, we want to connect the USB port to the PC port in the EV3 brick. Afterwards, we want to connect the wire to number one in the brick and connect it to the touch sensor. This touch sensor is cool. It's literally it feels touch. We'll demonstrate it later. First off, we want to turn on the brick. And just wait for it to, to open or turn on. When we're all connected, we could see from port view that at the first port, we can see the touch sensor. That, mean, that means it has successfully been connected. Now we will name our program My First Sensor. You can actually just do this by double clicking the name on top. And we will name this My First Sensor, all caps, because why not? Now we'll pull out this loop block. This, is loop, this loop is actually key in a lot of programs and it will be rotating or it will be repeating this program that we have inside and we'll put two sound blocks inside and we'll call it and we'll just use the dog bark and the rattlesnake rattle this block is actually just when when you play the program it's just gonna keep program or it's just gonna keep running the program until you cancel the program by pressing the upper left or until it runs out of battery. This is the infinite loop. But right now, we want to change it from unlimited to the touch sensor. By touch sensor, we will be measuring it by the state because that's the only option here. Okay, so now you see the difference in the loop as we can see the touch sensor is different. So the touch sensor states are different because there's 0, 1, and 2. 0 is when it's released, 1 is when it's pressed down, and 2 is when it's bumped. So you touch it and you let it go. So this loop goes from unlimited. So when you play the unlimited thing, Essentially, it just keeps running and running and running and running until you either cancel the program or the brick runs out of battery. And again, we're putting it at touch sensor and the state of the touch sensor. There are three states. There's 0, 1, and 2. We have it preset as 1, or the actual Lego Mindstorms presets it at 1. What we actually want is number two, which is when we tap it and let go of it. What this program means is when you play, it will loop the sounds until the requirement is achieved. So until the sensor is bumped. Now let's look for my first program and my first sensor and let's play it. As you can see, it's looping until we bump the touch sensor. When you want to stop the sound, you want to bump the sensor. As you can see, after you have bumped the sensor, we're done. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and of course the little iconic spinny spin of 6th grade me. And thanks for watching, Spring of Grace Renew Association. It's basically this epic place where people come.